Hello Year 6 and welcome to John Wilmot School. I'm Mrs Norton, one of the assistant heads. I've put together a video for you to show you what a typical school day might look like at John Wilmot. It will include the subjects that you will learn and how you will learn them. I hope that you will find the video useful and answer any of the questions that you might be worrying about before joining us in September. What's the school day at John Wilmot? School starts at 8.45. The bell will ring for you to go to lessons. You have five one hour lessons within a school day. You'll also have break and lunch times where you can purchase food and drink. At 2.50, you'll go to your form room and register with your form tutor and then school finishes at 10 past three. There is an opportunity before school for you to purchase breakfast items if you so wish to do so. What you'll notice that is different to primary school is in secondary school, you have to move to lesson to lesson. So I know that some of you in primary school will have stayed in one room. When you join us in September, you'll be given a timetable, which will tell you what subject, what room and what teacher. It's really important for you to keep hold of your timetable so that you know where you've got to go to. At certain points in our school building, we operate a one-way system, but this will become much clearer once you're with us in September. At our school, we have a two week timetable. That means we have a week one and a week two. These are some of the subjects that you will have over that fortnight. And in the right hand column, it tells you how many hours of those subjects that you will have. You can see that you will look at English, math, science, history, geography, RE, French, PE, music, art and drama. We also have a CTEC lesson which consists of computer science, design and technology where you'll make something and food technology. Again it's really important for you to use your timetable so that you know which week you are on. There will also be signposts around school to remind you whether it is a week one or a week two. Within your timetable, every fortnight, there will be a two hour enrichment lesson. Enrichment lessons we introduced last year, and this was to allow different opportunities and experiences that you might not have. You will get to choose from a wide range of subjects and interests that are on offer. This year, we had a wide, um, a wide range of choices which included dance, baking, other sports, cycling, film clubs, science investigations and arts and crafts. And we think at John Wilmot that this is really important to allow you to experience other things outside of the classroom to help support your learning and independence and give you the cultural capital you deserve. Also on your timetable, you'll have a lesson a fortnight with your form tutor. And these are LORIC lessons. LORIC is leadership, organisation, resilience, initiative and communication. And within these lessons, you will look at things about learning how to be empathetic, about how to be a good leader, how to be organised, respectful, kind, how to use your initiative, how to show and demonstrate good communication. You will earn certificates and house points when you demonstrate these attributes in school. 
We want our students at John Wilmot to become well-rounded individuals because this will lead to success when you leave us after year 13. And I know that's a long way to look at it, but we need to make sure that we give you the building blocks right from year seven. There are certain equipment that you will need to make sure that you've got with you every day and in every lesson. A school bag that's big enough to put your pencil case and books and materials that you might need. A pencil case, which contains blue or black pens, a pencil, a rubber, a green pen and a ruler. There may be other things that we ask you to bring, particularly for your maths lessons, but these are the basics that you are going to need to start with. What do our lessons look like at John Wilmot School? Over the last few years, our teaching and learning has been on quite a significant journey. And we use the mantra, enthuse, engage, excel, the triple E. And you will notice when you are with us that all of our lessons have the same structure. Every lesson will start with a do it now activity. This is a five minute activity at the start of the lesson and it will ask you to demonstrate how you can recall and retrieve information. It may be asking you to recall information from a previous lesson or a previous topic. This is important because it will help you to have good long term memories. Your teacher will provide an explanation and this will help you to develop knowledge and skills. In the picture here, you can see the students have been provided with an extract. Whilst the teacher has been explaining about the extract, the students have annotated it so that they have a good understanding and basis of the topic they are looking at. There will be examples of modelling within your lesson where the teacher will help you to apply new skills. This might be done through writing key answers on the board together to show you how it might be structured or the teacher might use a visualiser. This is a really useful way for you to understand and get you ready for doing your own independent learning. Within the lesson, you'll have deliberate practice. This is when you demonstrate your independent written work. This is always completed in silence and it allows you to build up all those skills from the start of the lesson to be able to put it into your own writing in whatever format you are asked to produce. In art, this might be recreating a particular picture or demonstrating particular skills that you need to create something. At the end of the lesson, there will be feedback and it might be that the teacher uses immediate feedback. And here in the picture, you can see the teacher using the visualiser to mark a student's work whilst the rest of the class use their green pen to show where the successes are and the developments are needed. Another example of feedback might be with your teacher taking your books in and marking. And here you can see the student has responded in green pen to the teacher's feedback from the pink sheets. The students with their green pen has redrafted and improved their response. This is a really important part of your learning cycle because it allows you to understand and change any misconceptions you might have had with regards to a particular topic. We think at John Wilmot that feedback is so important because it will help you to develop your knowledge and be successful.
This is why I said that you need a green pen in your pencil case, because a lot of our lessons, we're going to ask you to have your green pens out ready to assess your work and make those improvements. This is our presentation for learning that we use at John Wilmot School. We want you to take care with your handwriting, to only write in blue or black ink, to use a ruler and pencil for graphs and diagrams, to make sure that your worksheets are visible and stuck into your exercise book. Your work should be set out clearly and neatly. This is important because your exercise book is your revision guide. So when you come to prepare for assessments, you want to be able to find that work clearly in your exercise book, as this will help you revise and remember the key learning. Your exercise books will look like this. They will be different colours for different subjects. They will have a picture on representing that subject area. So here you can see that this is a history book and it will be labelled Key Stage 3 or Key Stage 4. On the inside cover, you've got the Enthuse Engage Excel, the triple E that I've just talked about, and it summarises there what we expect within lessons. The do it nows, the explanation, the questioning, the deliberate practice and the feedback. It also includes your presentation for learning, as well as the literacy marking code. This might be similar to what you have seen at primary school, where SP for spelling mistake, P for punctuation, or two lines for a new paragraph needed. So your teachers will indicate the changes that you need to go back and look at. This is where you will write your answers, but you will see at the top, there is a space for you to write the date, the title and the learning question. There is also a box that says discussed with teacher. This is when the teacher will come round the classroom and maybe ask you questions or check your work. They will tick the box to say they've discussed it with you. And again, you use your green pen to go back and make those improvements. So again, you'll get an immediate feedback on the work that you have produced within the lesson. And finally, what is home learning like at John Wilmot School? You will be given a home learning and retrieval practice book that you use at home. We suggest that you spend 20 minutes a night using the knowledge organisers that we will provide you in September. A knowledge organiser will contain all the information for that topic in a subject area for that term. You may find that your teacher will direct you to look at certain points of the knowledge organiser to remember key facts that will be needed in future lessons. However, we want you to become independent. So we encourage you to use these knowledge organisers regardless and be using them at home to consolidate your own learning. You might use them to create short quizzes or thinking maps to present new information. You might see how you can test yourself on key words or key aspects of that topic. I hope you found this video useful and I hope that it has answered some of the questions that you might have about starting. We look forward to seeing you really soon.